spot in southern Illinois and northern Missouri and draw a line all the way around the world parallel with the equator. You'd have the 38th parallel, the border between North and South Korea prior to the Korean War. After the Korean War, a DMZ or demilitarized zone up to four miles wide at some point was established as the new boundary between North and South Korea. DMZ zigzags along the countryside north of the 38th parallel on the eastern side of Korea and south of the 38th parallel on the western side. Now I'm going to zoom in and change maps on you just to give you an idea about where we're headed. We had spent part of the day visiting Kim Il-sung's vacation home and so we decided to take a drive north to the Unification Observatory which would give us a peek into North Korea. Yeah. Why? Because we didn't report. Oh, it was further back? So the footage you see in the introduction of this video is us actually driving to the checkpoint, but we missed our turn for the permit, so we had to go back and get our permit, and that required us to watch an instructional video as well. <laughs> As far as can go with a city, uh, citizen, not yeah. military. Civilian, yeah. yeah. civilian. And then whatever the seven thing we have to keep follow. No, no, not even no reason parking and then just stay. And then you cannot go outside or whatever, there's some line, safe line, stay in safe line. Okay. Or, and then follow the uh, security guard line and then three hours less than come back we have to less than three hours okay. and then always listen to mm -hmm. notification announcement okay. and then cell phone is always on okay okay we got it we got it if permit in hand we make our way north past the checkpoint and to the observatory as we arrived in the parking lot we got a glimpse of the train that used to run north and south in the Korean War Museum that's the last coffee shop in South Korea, right there. From the parking lot, we head down the path and up the stairs to the observatory. Along the way, you'll find statues that memorialize a hope for unification of the North and South Korean people. For many people, this observatory in Gosong is the closest they'll ever get to North Korea. There's even a walking course for the brave, but just remember that three hour limit you have on your permit. Now this particular observatory is special because it does represent the northernmost observatory in South Korea. Maybe one day I'll make it to the joint security area in Panmunjom, but it was closed due to tensions during our visit. And as we made our way off that last step, we were time warped into the 1950s. I mean, this eerie feeling kind of flushed over my body with a display of military equipment from that era and memorials to those who lost their lives fighting the cause. And check out the architecture of the Unification Observatory. It was built by the Korean Army in 1983. And as we made our way out to the observation deck, it wasn't really straightforward about what we were actually looking at. So you got to refer to the picture that is hanging on the observatory wall there, give you a good idea about what you're looking at. And those text in red is North Korea, text in white is South Korea. And the yellow text is the translation that I added to the picture. I'll also point out the landmarks as the video plays. First prominence you'll notice is the railway and the road adjacent to each other. The road is Highway 7 and that will take you to Mount Kungong. The area around Mount Kungong was a special administration area for tourism. It allowed over 1.7 million visitors between 1998 and 2007. It also allowed North and South Korean families to meet and reunite at the resort. In 2008, a South Korean tourist was shot and killed, and tours to the destination have been suspended. At highest peak, way in the background, is Mount Kumkong. And that structure on top of the peak there is the Gunggong Observatory. 
The rail line you see there is the Donghei Bukbu line and it would carry freight and tourists into the Gunggong tourist area, but operation has since been suspended. The observation deck has monoculars free for your use to see as far out as possible. Just down the coastline and beside the fence and to the island, you can see the Peace Corps Trail, a walking trail for the not so faint at heart. This needs no explanation, and if you are wondering, But where is the DMZ? Let's zoom and freeze. South Korean guard post. North Korean guard post. Everything else in between is the DMZ. Just like looking out for the tourists. This is a military zone. If you go, like, uh, go cross over, you, uh, you did. civilian mob doesn't care. You go to straight to military jail. So that's Buddha and Jesus and uh, Maria, or Saint. You are the Saint Kim, Kim, the Saint Kim Tegon. 